Good day folks, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. I'm going to show you something kind of cool. We all know about iPerf. We know about iPerf 3. Well, this is iPerf 2, which is kind of cool. So it's it does a few extra things that iPerf 3 does not do. And I'll put the link to the page that they wrote up on it. And I'm going to just show you one feature that I do like. So this is the SourceForge page. I'll put the link in the article. And uh, let's go to the actual uh, command prompt. So what I did was I started up the server. Here it is, iperf2-s, it's running. And then the client, I'm using my loopback address and I got 19.1 gigabits per second. Well, let's change things up. So same deal, I'm gonna use the same command, dash b, and I'm gonna do 11m. And we're gonna let that run. And if you get my, <laughs> if you know what I'm getting at, 11 megabits per second should be the speed. Now with iPerf 3, you can only do this with UDP, right? So with iPerf 2, I can do this TCP. Now you can also combine this and change the default port number from 5001 to 80, for example. And you can test certain um, routing policies, firewalls, or any kind of rate limiting you might have based on port numbers. And this is really important when you do Wi-Fi testing because the server might be on gig ethernet, you might be on Wi-Fi or you might be gig, it's gig and you have an intermediate link that's not gig. So it's really important to tune your bandwidth to the lowest common denominator and test appropriately. That's it folks. Enjoy. Have a good day.